Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love and romance reading for March to April 2021 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Leo. Let's pull your overarching energy or message for the month and see what we get. Well, the next month or two, March to April 2021. So what do we have, please? Angel Spirits Guides There's an overarching energy for Leo. March to April 2021, thank you. In terms of love, romance, relationships. Message for our lovely Leos, thank you. Message for Leo. Okay, so Leo, I have the world. It's a big energy, the world. It is a card of accomplishment, achievement, but it's also a card of completion, being ready to step to the next phase, next level. Okay, let's pull some cards and see what we get. I'm mainly using tarot cards for this one. We will pull an oracle card at the end. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Leo. In terms of love, romance, relationships, March to April 2021, thank you. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you face in love. Second card, Leo, is Advice from Spirit. Third card is the outcome, future outcome. And then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So we have two cards there. So the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Two of Pentacles is advice from spirit and we have the knight of wands okay so what do we have for leo please angel spirits guides message for our lovely leos thank you message for our lovely leos We have the High Priestess. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this introspection energy with that Two of, of Pentacles. That is the advice from Spirit. And then we have the action with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I kind of felt that the Eight of Cups was coming. We have the Seven of Cups here. Okay, Leo. So the World card is Completion. There's an energy of drawing the line under something here. Um, something is completing. Uh, this is major completion. It's, it's an energy of Saturn. So Saturn is the god of restraint, the god of tests, challenges. But these tests and challenges that the Saturnian energy, Saturnian energy brings asks us to really through challenge and tests we recognize our own value we recognize what's of value to us we discover our own capability it is a great energy of fueling evolution and growth spiritual growth emotional growth physical growth you know in the world so this is the end of the fool's journey from innocence to enlightenment to wisdom um so you have definitely come to the end of one cycle here and that's what the cards are recognizing in the next couple of months something it feels like is ending you and you will be empowered and being ready this is your energy you will be ready to step into a new phase of your life i'm ready i have overcome tests and challenges i have grown i have learnt lessons but i'm not going to be held hostage by them anymore i am ready to step to the next level of my life now um, it is when you're absolutely ready, ready for it, ready to go for it, you know, the world card. Um, it is a card of winning, victory, success, worldly success, because you've come through the other side or have the opportunity to come through to a new phase of your life now. And that's what the high priestess is recognizing in a way. You know, the high priestess is don't, don't disconnect from your intuition don't 
uh, there's an energy sometimes when she's in the challenge position a way of, of withdrawing I'm definitely getting this energy of I deserve more you know whatever's gone on in her, it feels like you've been dealing with a relationship here Leo and that is definitely what I'm getting and this is definitely a card of I and it, it might have been a relationship that's coming to an end or it might well be something that has finished a while ago but you have been dealing with your own self-worth self-esteem and now you're ready to finally draw that completion line under it for you you know it's that kind of energy because there's definitely been some kind of recovery You know, there's definitely this kind of energy of recovery, listening to your intuition, giving your, 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 giving some deep thought to a situation. But this is a card of worth. It's also a card of independence. So though some of you might be giving some thought to, you know, finishing a relationship and going your own way, you know, because you're doing what's right for you. This is aligning to your soul path, what feels right, what your intuition is telling you. You know, it's that kind of energy. And certainly in the challenge position, the message is listen to your intuition. Because this can sometimes be when we're not listening to our intuition. You know, that we don't get the clarity we need. So there's definitely both of these energies are intuitive energies in some ways. And it is to do with independence. But also, this is a card in the challenge position of self-worth. So I'm definitely getting this energy of... of Considering what's of value to you, what you want to put your energy and time into, I deserve more as well, or this is what I deserve, I'm going to go for what I deserve now, that kind of energy. Like I said, it can also be somebody who is considering being on their own again, or recovering from being on their own again. Um, again, this withdrawal energy I was getting with the Hermit and the High Priestess quite quite strongly because the Hermit is, is a card of he withdraws to find enlightenment again. So there's definitely this energy of you might have been spending some alone time here, but it's not in vain. It's actually to gain some wisdom, enlightenment, to actually really listen to what the universe is, is enlightening you with and showing you how you need to take action in your external environment. Because some of you might be weighing something up in how you move forward with a situation here. Um, I feel there's some kind of like weighing up. How do I move forward? It can be a card of needing to make some kind of sound judgment call here. You know, this can be a choice between two areas, two paths, two people, two destinies, so to speak. And you might be just weighing things up here, Leo, and thinking, okay, how do I move forward? Well, you don't, you're definitely going to get the answer from within. The message is don't ignore what your instinct is telling you. You will find also the wisdom, the answers that you need on how to take action in your external environment. Remember, the hermit is alignment energy, how you need to align and move forward. It doesn't feel like it was easy this recovery whichever it was leo for you coming back to who you are knowing your worth again building yourself up maybe but there's definitely this energy of i am ready to focus on new hopes new dreams new wishes now the seven of uh, cups can also be about choices and the message with this yes there is a need to choose wisely but you choose by trusting your intuition. There's karmic energy with the Seven of Cups. But if you trust your intuition, you won't choose wrong. And that's what the High Priestess is trying to tell you. You're being led by Spirit, God, the universe. There are more possibilities than you realize, more doors to open, great potential around you right now, very much connected to your hopes, dreams and wishes. So it feels for some of you there could be some choice or decision to make maybe. Um, or you want to pursue new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. Because for some of you, this Knight of Wands is an interesting energy. And I feel this is you. Um, Knight of Wands is a card of Sagittarius. I'm ready for a new adventure. I'm ready for change. 
I am ready to take the reins of my life, get back on the horse and charge ahead and think, oh my goodness, thank goodness I'm leaving that behind. You know, it, sometimes with the Knight of Wands, you do get that energy with, oh, I am just leaving that behind me. I'm done with it. I am all fired up. I've got my direction again. I know where I'm going. This is inspired action. And I understand how to bring change to my to my life now. I found the answers. I understand what my intuition is telling me. I know what hopes, dreams and wishes I'm going for. I'm getting the direction I need to go in now. I'm ready to step into a new phase of my life, having, to, having completed something. And I am just not looking back. So... There's definitely this energy, Leo, of moving on from disappointment. Uh, this can be about saying goodbye to someone. It, it is a card of turning your back on something that hasn't quit, ha quite hit the mark for whatever reason. But somebody who is feeling empowered, the red, inspired, ready, um, open, able to embrace new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. Um, so it feels very positive and it feels like you're ready to bring change into your world. You're finding direction. The Knight of Wands can also be an opportunity or an offer coming your way. It can be. I mean, this is a card of Sagittarius. So that might well be for some of you as well. This can, the Knights can bring offers, opportunities. So for some of you, that might be part of your hopes, dreams and wishes, you know. Um, but I'm definitely feeling for some of you, this is just, you have been considering, um, knowing your worth, understanding what you deserve now. And it feels for some of you, a cycle is ending. And it, you're ready. You're not looking back anymore. You're ready for the new possibilities, hopes, dreams and wishes. And you know what? They're all around you. I have to say they are all around you. This is Venus in Taurus. Venus is that promise energy, promise of something wonderful. Um, there are different levels of reward, and that's why there is an energy of choose, make, make wise choices based on your intuition. But as long as you're true to yourself, as long as you align to what your internal energy and answers and wisdom are telling you, you won't go wrong. So I definitely feel for some of you, it feels very beautiful, Leo. <laughs> it's interesting. Bottom of the deck, and I pre-shuffle these before. Oh, okay, that just fell, but never mind. We have horse, free spirit. Give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. I've got golden unicorn, which just flipped out. We have ascension, awaken to your soul's potential. Soul energy, you know. I'm going to pull one more card. And it, it feels like it will be an ascension for you. There's definitely this energy, Leo, of I'm ready to rise, I'm ready to move on, I'm ready to step to the next level now. Oh, it's come out again. <laughs> oh, dear me. Never ceases to amaze me. So we have Golden Unicorn Ascension, Awaken to Your Soul's Potential. Clearly, Spirit is trying to tell you that this horse and taking the reins and charging ahead is quite important for you. I mean, horse, horse, get back on the horse maybe, take the reins of your life. I mean, there's definitely this energy of change coming, but this is about embrace some kind of ascension. You have, you're ready to come through the other side, a cycle is ending, but it feels like it's only empowering you to move forward to new hopes, new dreams, new possibilities now. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you, Leo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.